Hello, everyone, and welcome to Singleton Showdown. Uh, we've got an interesting week today for you. We're three players. Uh, unfortunately, our guests could not make it this week, and so we are playing a three-player game of Commander, but we've got some interesting decks for you, and uh, it should be an exciting game. I won the die roll, so I'll go first. Uh, this is Reed here from Commander 99. Uh, I am I am playing Noyan Dar, Royal Shaper. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be really different. It is Azorius kind of lands matter, but also spell slinger because whenever I cast an instant or sorcery, I get to animate a land and make it a three three, and I can also just keep stacking those one one counters on my lands. That's basically what I'm trying to do, uh, more or less make a large land creature and hit someone in the face with it yeah it's a it's a color combination you don't really see lands matter as as often and the combination of instants and sorceries too it's like well you just want to animate your lands and uh mm -hmm. you know should be should be fun to play against i'm excited hopefully hey guys this is charles uh back again i am playing Arabo, Roar of the World, this week. Uh, it's more of a cat tribal Selesnia deck. The purpose of it is really life game. Draw a bunch of cards and swarm the enemies with big cats. So that's mm -hmm. the goal. Yeah, yeah. I, I've, I'm familiar with Arabo. I've played it before. It's a, it's a powerful commander if you get out, like, you know, even on a turn one cat, turn two cat, you know, so <laughs> should, right. be, should be fun to play against. Uh, all right, and this is Austin, and I am playing Asperia, Supreme Judge. This is a uh, Planeswalker tribal deck. It's uh, Azorius Planeswalkers. Uh, recently, War of the Spark released, and we got some new Planeswalkers. And I have, uh, I, I'm, I'm interested in trying different color combinations, trying different ways to build Planeswalkers. So, if we can get this guy out, I get to draw, draw cards whenever you attack my Planeswalkers. So I'm, I'm trying to de-incentivize you guys from attacking my guys and just leaving them back, leaving them uh, safe with my nice uh, flying Sphinx to protect me. Right. It's it's a very large Sphinx on top of uh, making us not want to attack you, which is, you know, two things Indeed. you don't usually have. Yeah, exactly. Right. Okay. Well, I like my hand uh and so since i'm going first i'm going to start us out with a myriad landscape and pass all right planes and put a target on my back by turn one soul ringing oof much faster than what i have planned and then i'm going to use that soul ring and i'm going to make a thought vessel oh wow so okay. yeah that's that's my turn one Okay, I will start with a tap land. Mm hmm Pass the turn. All right. All right. Uh, I'm going to play a terrain generator. Uh, tap both for colorless, and I'll play walking atlas. Okay. All right. Which, if good. I had more lands in hand, would let me put lands into play. But yeah. I don't have that many more lands in hand. Terrain generator sure. lets you put lands into play. Walking atlas lets you put lands into play. Right. Uh, Azorius doesn't have a lot of go find lands, put them into play, but it, you know, white has a lot of go find lands, put them in your hand. So yeah. this is how we're mana ramping. So this is the reason that I was a little iffy about my opening hand is because I don't have a second land to drop, uh -huh. but I do have a pristine talisman. All that so, colorless mana. Yeah. All that colorless mana. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to gain a life real quick and pass the turn. Okay. I mean, that works. Okay. Drew into something a little helpful. Uh, Mindstone. So that some, helps. Some ramp. That's fair. Smart. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play an island. And then I'm going to activate my married landscape. This is going to go get me two your, planes. Yeah, your other color. Mm hmm. All right. And then I will tap my Walking Atlas, and that's going to put this Irrigated Farmland into play. Okay. That's so going to put us right. five on turn three, which I feel pretty confident with. Wonderful. Yeah. And that's going to be my turn. That's uh, that's Commander next turn. I think so. I think so. 
Well, I finally got another land, so thankfully I'm not too far out of the race. In fact, I can now get my friend Karametra out. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's more mana ramp. Yep, absolutely. So that is going to be the rest of my turn. I'm going to tap out. <sighs> okay. Well, I think what I want to do here is uh, play a Maze of it. Seems pretty good. And bring out Narset Parter of the Veils. Oof. Oof. And That's a yeah. can't draw. Can't draw more than one card during your turn, so don't don't even think about it. And but... I... <laughs> I get to uh I... I get to minus it to go search for a non creature, non land card. Go and ahead I... and impulse there. Got some good options. Uh it's either gonna be this Honor Worn Shaku. That's a good one. Or Tezzeret. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the ramp. Let's the honor one shock you. Yeah, I've got... Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to go for the card draw. Let's grab Tezzeret. Oh, I, was, okay. I looked back at my hand, and I, was, I wasn't I was satisfied. Changed change my mind. All right. Um, going to tap out real quick and cast Noyandar. Yep. All right. That's a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, gonna play an island. And uh, let's go ahead and go to combat. Yep. And uh, attack that Narset, since it's preventing me from drawing cards. I agree wholeheartedly. Please mm. get rid of it. Get mazed. I will get oh. mazed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Well, that happened abruptly. Well, I'm 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 really banking on the fact that uh, you don't play any haste enabler next turn, and things just go well for for the untapping of uh of that walking atlas. Ah, uh, okay. I do not have any more lands, but I can get some more lands. Yes. That's the important part. Yeah, you can cast a creature. Exactly. Ooh, pride me. Ooh. ooh. Indeed. That's pretty friend. good. All right. The question uh, is, yep. forest or plains? And in this instance, it will be both. It will be both. <laughs> yeah. Karamatra is one of those uh, creatures that's just really good. No, I'm not going to pay two life. <laughs> I am A-OK. -okay. And then I will tap three... And play Life Crafters Bestiary. Okay. All right. And that will be my turn. Setting up a nice little engine there for you. Card draw Indeed. main ramp. Assuming that we get rid of your pesky, pesky Narset. It's really, it's really not a problem. <laughs> sure. And Ooh, that's to, an uh, arena rector. To ensure that uh, my planeswalkers will stick on the board, <laughs> I will play a blocker. That's a blocker. Pretty good one, too. It's a decent one. I don't think I'll be activating Narset this turn. All right. Uh, we got a land. It's a good land. Okay. It's a Dread Sanctuary. Okay. Can't animate it just yet, unless you want a summoning sick uh, dread sanctuary. Right. So there's this fun thing about Noyandar's ability that uh, gives it haste. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so if you put plus one plus one counters on right? it. Right. Nope. This isn't the one that gives haste. It's the other one that gives haste. No. If uh, well, you'd have to. No, a it's still a land. It twice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. Well, we have to do something. So, <laughs> gonna tap four and play an Abzan Battle Priest. Nice. Yep. All right. It's it's so he can give his lands life link. Yeah, my lands will have life link. 
the world hits you, and then I get better. Um, <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, then I'm going to go to combat. Ooh. Yeah. Um, and, and evidently pass through combat and pass through. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that Narset lives another day. Curses. <laughs> Didn't have any plans for it, you know. Nope. No. I, you know, I've had this 4-4 merfolk and and just didn't <laughs> didn't feel like hitting your your yeah. narset so why, why would you come on right put on top all right thank you you do have it's more than wonderful. one opponent i do indeed have more than one opponent thankfully on this day yeah. yes somebody's ramping you both are really He's catching up, but uh, I'm still ahead. I believe you are. I, mm-hmm. I do believe you are in the lead on this occasion. Mm-hmm. Um, I will tap five and bring out Ooh. Vanquisher's Banner. Love Vanquisher's Banner. Okay, you have a Vanquisher's Banner? And I am choosing Cats. Are you sure? There's a uh, there's gods. Uh, there's so many other types, but right? I think I'm gonna be with cats. It's fitting because my cat is actually being very cuddly right now and trying to block the view to my screen. And in this instance, I don't think that I am going to. Uh, you got a six play. six. I do, I do, but I prefer to keep hold of it for now. Hmm. Okay, okay. Okay, interesting. Uh, where does this leave me? I feel like I'm in a weird place. Okay, let's go Narset. All right, activation on Narset. Yep, see what I can... Uh... That puts Narset at 1. That seems to be perfect range for this walking atlas. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Whew. Where does that put me next? Um... So I'll grab Soul Ring. And then this kind of kind of changes up my turn a, a little bit. Play the Soul Ring. See, that leaves you with... Six mana afterwards? Yep. Alright, we're going to do the most value thing we can right now. We're going to Dovin's Veto it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. And we're going to make a 3-3 three, three with Noyandar. Yes. Alright. Uh... I like it. That's going to prevent you from playing either your Tezzeret or your Aspira. That is true. That does put me in quite a predicament. Uh... Countering Soul Ring, right. Didn't expect it. Didn't expect it. Uh, let's play another new legend. Uh, you know, the Kazmina. Ooh. That's Kazmina. And let's go ahead and minus that. Make a dude. Make a dude. And... L- That's a dude. Got my, got my 2-2 uh, wizard. And we're gonna we're gonna keep leaving uh, Arena Rector back as a blocker. I gotta say, I didn't play Narset so that I could stop you guys from drawing. I played it so I could get free <laughs> value off of it. So it served its well, purpose. Yeah, it definitely has. All right, so we are going to now brave the sands mm-hmm. because that's what our our lands needed was to brave some sands. Yep. Um, and then I think we go to combat for real now. Okay. Uh, and th- there's just way too much going on over here. So, uh, yeah, I know. Uh, Charles is really getting out of control. <laughs> uh, yep, big time. Who are you attacking? Uh, a lot of it's attacking Narset. Oh, All right. So much attacking Narset. All right. And that's a three-three. It is a 3-3 three, three, that at any point I can make a 7-5. Just because he wants to. Just because I want to. Okay, well, let's head to blockers. 
Oh, okay. And chump. Okay. And then, yeah, uh, to save myself from taking eight damage, I'll lose an R set. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. All right, you get your arena rector trigger. Yep, and uh, you know, didn't plan this all the way through. <laughs> Just knew it was gonna die. Knew there are good planeswalkers in the deck. I mean, I'll grab what I grab. Yes, I will exile arena rector and grab a. Oof. Uh, what's a good one in this situation? I feel like my planeswalkers are, they're under duress. You know, a little bit. They're in a bad spot, so any anything I grab is just gonna gonna paint a target on itself. Indeed. Uh, I like Teo if it's in there. It makes walls. It does. You know, it's it was either choose Teo or choose Soul Ring, and I chose Soul Ring. So oh, okay. Well, Teo now you can get Teo. <laughs> I can. I can. Yeah, I mean that does seem like a good option to grab some more more blockers. What else can I get? That's I don't have a soul ring. Unfortunately, your creatures don't tap either. So like, right, brave the sands. Yeah, brave the sands. <laughs> sure. Vigilance and extra blockers. Teo weirdly sounds good enough in this situation. All right, second main phase. We're going to cast Coastal Discovery. We're Ooh. going to awaken our dread sanctuary even more. Making it a 6-6. Six, six. Super, super awakened. Super awakened. <laughs> he is the most woke Dread, uh, dread Sanctuary. Statue. Player land for turn. It's going to be this uh, Darksteel Citadel. And um, fast turn. Yeah. All right. Seems like a good turn. Right. Yeah. Seems uh, quite I'm going to tap out because I don't have any responses. All right. I'm not going to be able to like drop a... Drop an island or a planes with this walking atlas and and cast you know a spell. I'll, I'll keep you. You you can stay. Oh okay. Well, I oh I will lose. Mana. Yeah, because you have walking atlas. Well, no, it's because I have mana active. Oh oh okay. Yeah. Can't um, actually activate walking atlas if you don't have a land in hand. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it is a May. I, I guess I could tap yeah. it. Ooh, be be afraid of my tapping. <laughs> on. I mean, you should be, Charles. It's you should probably uh, swing probably into it. a six six. You know, <laughs> yep. swing into my six six with your six six. Mm -hmm. That's probably a good trade. Don't try to politics over there. I mean, I mean, I could just untap his creature if he comes at me, so it's a waste of an attack. You know, otherwise. And White Sun Zenith. Oh, that's a lot of cats. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of cats. That's cats. a few cats right there. You got some cats there, bud. <laughs> got some cats there. I do. I do have my cats. All right. All right. In that case, I believe... Hmm. Can I make a 6-6? Six, six? You coming this way? No, I'm oh. gonna I'm gonna attack Austin. I'm sorry. I mean, uh, you're just gonna get yeah, mazed. <laughs> maze him. Yeah, it's my turn it. next. Of course, I'm gonna maze him. Do it. There's no reason not to. Zero <laughs> downfall. Like absolute zero. Only positives here. All right. Will I block with my two two? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> This is, there's nothing coming at you anymore? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go land for turn. And go with the... Uh, let's play our commander. All right. So now attacking into my planeswalkers will only uh, give me free value. Right. And plus I have a 6-4 flyer, so hopefully that'll help block, mitigate some of the damage. Uh, I will also make an 0-3 defender. Mm -hmm. And do I want to make a 2-2 wizard at this point? I guess looting does seem pretty okay. Uh, and we'll just discard the Dovin we just drew. 
the other cards in my hand are a little bit better. No attacks. This is the don't attack me uh, type type. Uh, All right, I'm gonna cast a cascading, not cast, but play a cascading cataract. Um, and then one, two, three, four, five. Oh, on top of one of those five. There we go. And we're gonna ca cast a cyclone sire. Say a 3-4 elemental f with flying that when it dies, animates a land. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Stick another very... theme. Yeah, we have a very one-track mind here. <laughs> um, right. So I'm going to go combat. And since I can't beat through the uh, the Aspira, uh, I could beat through the Aspira. The question hey, is, do you... you can try. I can try, <laughs> but I'm gonna lose this uh, this dread sanctuary in response. Um, let's just leave it up as a blocker for now, I guess. Yeah, we're just gonna have a blocker. There's too many cats on the battlefield. We're just gonna pass. <laughs> There's a couple right. cats, you know. <laughs> right, just a few. It's fine. Totally fine. Yeah, I'll keep that. And then, hmm, what shall we do? Cast more cats. Uh, that is an option. Attack that is with certainly cats. an option. Attack with cats. That is that is another option. <laughs> Those are two options you have. I mean, it, at this point, casting cats free value from Vanquisher's exactly. banner. It's so good. I am, in fact going to cast a cat a very Ooh. special cat it's a really that's a big cat okay that's... uh 40 or more life you win game got it yep well Reed? we have to hit him yep i'm on it oh you know my <laughs> o o3 wall was heading right his way you know <laughs> i mean you have an aspira that's, i do that's... uh but let's let's uh, see where this turn goes for him, and then maybe we can talk about leaving my uh, my Kazmina and Teo alone to to, maybe. to bring maybe. his life to total down a, a bit lower. I mean, it's just the Cyclone Sire, you know. I'm just just, just three four flyer, you know. Yeah. If you kill it, whatever, you know. Yeah, it is a it is a three four flyer, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Trigger on the stack. Go get a land. Indeed, I will. That puts you at six. Six. You're catching up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You got to get to nine. Yeah, I mean he's got plenty of plenty of artifact ramp too. It's... Right. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, just okay. <laughs> just okay attempting to win the game next turn yeah it happens it happens it All happens right. All right. what are, what are, what are you doing what do you think you're doing do doing nothing you just well you got on a rabo and some cats you're gonna make a six six i don't do anything with that six six no oh okay <laughs> <laughs> it's a very defensive cat oh, okay very defensive cat. All right. Well, that puts us in a different position than previously before. Okay. Uh, land. I got a couple options here. What does this do? What does this do? What does that do in conjunction with all that? Nothing Nothing great. Um, no reach, no flying. So let's go four, five mana. <sighs> Man, you know, actually, maybe it's better to just set things up for later. Okay. Make a wall. You got a wall. I will allow this wall. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> and from there, I will cast a Oath of Gideon. Okay. Make more dudes. Make more dudes. You know, you can never have enough blockers, especially when if you attack me, I get to draw a card. 
I'm more worried about the fact that Charles wins the game next turn. Yes, me too. That's not something to worry about. So I'm hoping we can strike an accord, you know? I mean, there's a lot of Planeswalkers coming down. Nothing nothing too scary right now, but uh, that Ajani definitely, uh, definitely is at five, so... You know. It is mm-hmm. at five. It is at five. Uh, you know what? Um, let's put it at uh, let's put it at six. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. all right, all right. As one does. Yeah. All right. Go to combat. Uh, put someone to thirty-nine. Right. Right. With my first strike lifelink vigilance flying commander. Yep, that'll that'll do it. Yep. And then we'll 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 continue this dance again if you choose to attack with Feld and gain more life. I mean, I'm going to gain more life. Okay. I I'll, I'll just tell you right now. <laughs> you plan I'm on going, it. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to gain more life this game. That's just how this deck works. All right. Uh. Let's go to combat. Oh, just straight to it then. Okay. Right. Um, just make sure that that we don't get any more life. Mm-hmm. And then okay. um, you see, you're you're a uh, an oath of Teferi away from uh, ulting that Ajani. Uh, you're right. I don't. I, I, I don't have to pre- draw oath of Teferi. Right. And I ult Ajani. Crazier right. things have happened. <laughs> I mean, go ahead, attack me. Just let me draw it, you know? <laughs> well, I can't attack Charles, because if I do, he'll gain life. So, I mean... That's true. You can't attack Charles or he'll gain <laughs> life. We're gonna attack Johnny with my Dread Sanctuary. Okay. You may draw a card. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Could use the use the card draw. Uh, yes, I will draw a card. Okay, card drawn. Gonna head to blockers. Uh, what do we want to put in front of this? Uh, one one. Seems pretty good. Core ally. Gonna kill it. Yeah, no trample. No trample. Got life link though. Puts you at forty nine. It does. That that is the thing that it does, and I will pass turn. Man, we're right. we're in this game, and two players are over forty life total. You know, almost right. three until one got attacked. Gonna need to uh, look for a win condition pretty soon here. If I could draw some cards, maybe. Yeah, yeah, been there. All right, I will tap one. Two, three, four, five, and attempt to cast my commander. You got it. You have an Arabo. Sweet. Reed, does he have an Arabo? I don't have a way to stop it. Yeah. Okay, you can also gain some life to here too, if you want. Try and try and get back on that that throne of winning the game with Felton. <laughs> yeah. I very much can. You gonna pay into bestiary? I will. Nice. All the card draw, all the ramp. I'm a bit worried about what you got going on over there. I mean, yeah, I have an Ajani steadfast, whatever. But (laughs) (laughs) I mean, it's it's an issue. It's an issue. Yeah. All right. That would have been good a little while ago. But unfortunately, we are here in the now, and I will pa- will uh, cast a Ajani Mentor. Okay. Yeah. Mentor of Heroes. So you can put... And then gain plus. 100 life at some point. Yeah. Three... Three counters on three creatures? Three counters on one creature. Make oh. it an eight ten. <laughs> I see. And then make Indeed. it even bigger. Yep. I think that Maze of Ith is still up. 
Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Okay, you have an 11, 11, four, uh, 11, 13. Indeed I do. Hmm. But what shall I do with it? No idea. It Maybe really attack. doesn't matter because no matter who I attack, I get the feeling you're going to maze with it. I mean, maybe. Here, in, in hopes that you'll, uh, You'll be a little nice to me. Mm -hmm. I am going to attack uh, Teo. Oh, yes. <laughs> Only Teo. What a Only Teo. What a fair trade. See, <laughs> no, but now you can now you can draw a card mm -hmm. and block. It's and fine. Block. Oof. Uh, see, I was expecting you to attack with more creatures. I know. And you didn't. And Oof. I didn't. So. <laughs> so that puts me in a pretty good uh pretty good position here to just untap it. Alright. Mazeth. Yeah, how do I there we go. Alright. I was confused by what is going on. Well I will draw with my commander all right all the value uh will you pay three no doesn't look i like do it. not have three to pay so unfortunately i will not and let's just untap uh, yep untap there and it prevent. is yeah all right and as that hides behind my tokens mm -hmm. right uh, will I block? No, I'm good. You sure? You positive? Absolutely certain? Yeah, pretty sure. I will pass turn off of that. Okay. Island. Mm -hmm. uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That'll be three. So I can't do everything I want to. All right, so where does that leave me? Um... What can Reed do? He's got two mana open. Could cast an two. instant or, or two cards in hand, sorry. Yes. And all your mana open. All of my mana open. Okay, let's see where this takes me. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. And mm -hmm. cast a Will Kenrith. All right. And partner with Rowan. Target I will yourself. I'll target myself. Yield and not shuffle. Okay. Um, where does that leave me? I guess it leaves me in a position where I can plus will. Mm hmm. And say that Norin and Felden are O threes. All right. And that I can put a plus one plus one counter on each creature I control, and a loyalty counter on all my planeswalkers. Mm -hmm. Now this is where it puts me in an interesting position. Uh. Will I... You know what? I'll kill my own Teo. Seems pretty good. Make I'll make a wall. wall. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm going to keep Kazmina. You know, it's a, it's a good it's a good planeswalker. And I believe I will be tapping out from here. No attacks. No need to. All right. Yeah. All right, let's see what I draw. It's a Noah Johnny ultimate. That's one thing that you got to look forward to. Mm -hmm. Play the Celestial Colonnade. Keep drawing lands. You, uh, guys, you guys really should just fight it out. Really? I, 
I think <laughs> instead I'm going to go to combat. Yeah. And just go ahead and throw everything at will. Mm-hmm. So that we we just you know don't lose here. Okay. I like it. I like it. You can draw your cards. Draw a card. Draw a card. Draw a card. And one more. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you don't want to lose here. Right. Neither do I. Um, where does that leave me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight creatures yeah. from... Potential 10-8 coming at you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's head to blockers. Okay. And we will throw an 03 in front of that throw a 22 in front of the 32 actually not the 11 one, one. throw my wall in front of that and throw my commander in front of that so that should mitigate all of the damage and uh, get rid of some of your creatures in theory not that one like i said in theory <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and animate Dread San Sanctuary, making it even bigger. Okay. Does it give a trample? Nope. Nope. Just, just makes it really big. Okay. You have a 10 8. Yep. Uh, uh, and we'll go to damage. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I want to gain 10 life. Gotcha. Makes sense. You're a 59. It's a high life total. Go ahead and throw this on here that's an indestructible citadel it is an indestructible citadel which is about to become a 3-3 indestructible land yep and Wonderful. um pass turn all right okay that was good turn <laughs> yeah he swung at my planeswalkers and i felt bad mm -hmm. you should also swing at that will so that there's no emblem that doubles Really, cast of spell. Really, I mean, I got no spells in hand, so I, you know, don't believe you. You just drew four cards. Uh, I did draw a spell. Okay. It's a All good one right. too. I like it. I'm, it's not going to help me. Like doubling it means nothing, but it's still a good spell. Mm -hmm. We're gonna bring out another Ajani. Yeah. Everyone's over here playing planeswalkers. Mm -hmm. And you're just animating lands. I'm just animating lands. <laughs> you know? That's... Whew, okay. I will plus one my Ajani. Mm -hmm. Okay. And look at the top four cards of my... Aura, Creature, Planeswalker from among them. Yep, and there's none of those. Okay. Shuffle, redraw. Oh, wait. Oh, you yeah. know what? I'm now realizing something. What? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Not a big deal. It's more of a that, inner... That sounded kind of like a big deal. Inner thought sort of thing. <laughs> We're going to run out of time? No, 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 no. Okay. Nothing, nothing that, that worrisome. All right, I believe I'm going to go to combat mm -hmm. and trigger. Yeah. Well, here we are. Here it is. Um, we will start by sending this big boy over to Reed. Okay. Um, Without this... lifelink or trample or anything? Oh, wait, wait, yeah. That... It's an 8 and 11. It's an 8 and 11, and I have an indestructible land. <laughs> ah, that's true. That's true, you do. Yeah. I said I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Why not? Uh, uh, one thing, you can give it trample. Oh, uh, with the... Uh, with the, yeah. the yeah. Robo's activation. We don't, need, we don't need to mention that just yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> not yet, at least. Um, I am gonna go for a Johnny Steadfast, and then 
I have these two going over to you. Correct. Yep. The, the way I do it. All right. Draw some cards. Choices, I will. Choices have been made. I, I will draw cards. I will draw three cards. I will gladly draw three cards. I have nothing to stop you from drawing three cards. All right. One. Nor do I. Man. Going pretty heavy in these uh, these lands that I'm drawing up. But hey. If only you had a terrain generator. <laughs> yeah. And uh, now we got some Marabo activation. So let's see what, what we want to do with this. E6. You've got plenty of mana. Nine? Yeah, you've got nine. You have a sixteen nineteen with trample. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you want to give those, <laughs> make those three three six sixes with trample? I believe I do. I mean, I'll take, I guess I'll take 12. Hmm. Right. That's what we're doing. Okay, just kind of untap that real quick. Yep, I, I was waiting for that one. Yep. So here we are. So here right. we are. What do we got? So right now I'm just getting attacked by two six sixes with nothing else going on. Yeah, I have a sixteen nineteen. Uh, I guess I'll take I'll take the damage. I'm not really I'm not really too worried about taking twelve. Luckily, the sixteen nineteen does not have lifelink. You're right. welcome. I mean, I don't have a annoy uh, Noyandar right now, so. You don't. You kind of do. Block three of it and take the rest. Cool. Back down to 46. I'm just trying to level the playing field back up a little bit. It's fine. Yes, you are. Okay. Um, let me plus a Johnny. Of course. Okay. Give it to my commander again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cast uh, the. Now this is this is interesting. I think I want to do this. I think I'm going to cast the spell I just drew. Uh, it's the. Uh, it's a contentious plan. To proliferate it my planeswalkers. I'm going to swan song it. Hoo <laughs> Okay, it is it is officially swan songed. And I am going is... to uh, go ahead and animate my celestial colonnade. Good job on that one, Reed, because that was going to be a problem. I mean, it's still a problem. It's Definitely just less of a less so. problem. Yeah. And now I have a bird. Now you have bird. a bird. Three. Five. That's what he needed. More flying. Leaves me with two mana. Okay. One, two. Felwar stone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I guess, I mean, the only thing to do here is to just ultimate uh, ultimate this will. Ugh. I mean, it's no point in having it stick around. Uh, who would I like to be the target player that gets an emblem? I think I will go with me. You sure about that? Yeah, pretty Look, sure. This is where I come out with that misdirection tech. You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Make you choose me. And I'm heading over to combat. Yeah, combat. I wonder what it'll do. Uh, I think uh, I do have seven commander damage on you. So, so seven more sounds pretty good. Uh, eight more this time. Oof. Seems pretty good. <laughs> oh, no. This, All is, right. this is not what I like to see. 
Okay. Oof. One, one combat away from losing. All right. Oh man, this is this is this is being very disappointing right now. Uh huh. Um, we drew a land. Okay. Yep. Lands are good. Right? No, you're, not really. You're when a landfall I'm at deck. Twelve. What? Well, no, I'm you're not a landfall deck. <laughs> I'm a land deck. <laughs> yeah. So I like you... to see the lands, but yeah, not like this. Exactly. So they're on the battlefield. You're feeling good. Life's great. You know. Um, and I think that we just we just go straight to combat. All right. Okay. Should probably attack Charles. I mean, he's like I said last the last couple yeah, of turns. Yeah, yeah, totally. He's definitely not gonna be able to kill me next turn. <laughs> you should totally focus. Well, me. well, here's the thing, Charles. Are you going to attack me again? Because you know, 16 damage was quite a lot. <laughs> I know, I know, but you were getting a little high on the life, so I, I just had to bring you down a peg. It's fine. We're good now. <laughs> the the message has been sent. Uh, let's see. I mean, I wasn't. I'm not. I'm not a pretty big fan of that. So, uh, you know, let's 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 go ahead and do this, and then uh... okay. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make my celestial colonnade even bigger, and okay. flying now. All right. And uh, you yeah, just. just... Just have, hit a, you. have a flying yeah, that, seven, I, seven. I totally don't understand at all why you would do that, but I respect it anyway. <laughs> all right. Now, now that the message has been sent back, <laughs> uh, pass turn. All right. Fair. Well, he's got to keep you under forty. You know, yeah, it's not winning. It's not about winning the game. It's about sending a message. <laughs> Message has been sent, you know. Hoping Austin can deal with the Felidar, because I keep drawing lands. I mean, Maze of Eth is dealing enough with it. <laughs> I yeah, so. I think... Th that was well, a last-minute addition, by the way, too, so just really... Like it was a good addition. Good <laughs> yeah. addition. I was like, wait, it prevents combat damage when you attack me? Well, I want to be attacked. <laughs> I, found a, uh, I found a really cool thing about Planeswalkers. Uh, even if you give it indestructible they still lose loyalty and if their loyalty hits zero they still die yeah yeah that is true yeah. um indestructible does not mean in prevent your planeswalker prevent from loyalty dying. yeah <laughs> yeah planeswalker's still gonna die there mm -hmm. all right okay bringing out another ajati Every creature gains more flying cats. and double strike okay Ooh, that's a big one all you I have, I'm going I'm to be completely honest. I kept this hand because it had a Knight of White Orchid inside of it. And uh, I still have that Knight of White Orchid. <laughs> That's what I was hoping to hear. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Here we are. Yeah. Here we <laughs> are. That's why I've been counting everybody's lands. You know? Three been hoping to uh, maybe... Uh, get another land out into play but uh yeah yeah okay i'm liking uh i'm liking what's happening here i feel like I, i'm feeling comfortable you're feeling comfortable yeah i'm feeling comfortable you're feeling okay yeah unless these last two cards in your hand are game changing based on board alone <laughs> feel pretty comfortable with your uh seven cards in hand anyway. <laughs> yeah exactly exactly am i a johnny steadfast you know putting in work mm-hmm mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, keep keep the keep the counters coming. Yep, absolutely. Okay. More stuff. One More of... stuff. <laughs> More stuff. Yay. Yep, digging. Digging, absolutely digging. De desperation draw off the <laughs> commander sphere. Because I am I am not looking pretty. Yeah. I well, mean, if you can get your your Ajani's up one more, you can make a bunch of cats and uh, I and I gain a hundred life. So yeah, yep, hundred totally. life means everything in commander damage. Yeah. Yep, one hundred percent with all my flyers. I will. 
do whatever I can. I don't know, man. I'm grasping at straws here. I'm going to lose. I like it. So, I like it. <laughs> I am certainly going to lose next turn, but I might as well go out fighting. Yeah, bring it on. Do all the damage I can. And I... You know, we're gonna we're gonna put this over on this one. Wow! Give that cat yeah. the plus three. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Give that little guy the plus three. All mm -hmm. right, now let's let's go to combat. Let's, all right, let's do it all. All right. I mean, go big or go home. Yeah, I think my, you go at the guy who's trying to kill you. <laughs> oh, okay. The fellow sovereign is still coming at me. <laughs> Yeah, we'll do that. Yep. That. Mm -hmm. That. I mean, uh, yeah, just keep it. Bring it on. Yeah. Keep it coming. <laughs> and then that, this, this one, one random cat coming at <laughs> Yeah, one random cat coming at you. All right. I got a 3-3 three, three cat. Oh no! It, yeah, just one three three coming at me. Just one three. Okay. I got all little... right, all the triggers. Yep. I'll draw some cards. Yep, just a few. Just, <laughs> just a few. Yeah. What? Fourteen total at the end of the turn. Yeah. 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 Feels good. Oh man, this is a uh, this is gonna be a blowout. Ooh, okay, but yeah. Uh, yeah, go ahead, do 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 your worst, cause I uh, I got a plan. So I'm I'm in a I'm in a bit of a dilemma here. I can let my uh, Kazmina and Ajani die just so Reed can take 46 damage uh, or 52 minus whatever blockers he has. I wonder if it's worth it in my position. Could be. It could be. It could be. I feel like it kind of is. Cause no matter how much life you gain, I still got I still got my commander damage. Yeah, you still got commander damage. What all is exactly coming at me? I can't even tell at this point because you're growing the dorks. Yep. Once they're all grown, though, that's when I can tell how much damage I'm taking here. All right. That is it. That okay. is my final act as the cat man. Okay, so I've got... Sorry, I have returned. Uh, you're fine. Um, that's all coming to face. That's coming to read. Okay. Okay. Let's hit the blockers. Um... I'm ready to block. Robo doesn't have trample. Let's go block Robo with the defender wall and block that with the defender wall so that my Ajani does in fact stay around. And then I believe I'll be taking 11 to the face. And Reed, you have to now attempt to survive. Actually, I can, uh, I believe after blockers, I might be able to hold priority to uh, save myself some damage because I can maybe still Maze of Ith. Mm. Or not. I turned off auto yields. We'll see if it works. If it doesn't, I'm taking, taking a little bit of extra damage to the face. Reed, you now have to unblock a 52-52 trample flying double striker. And I think that I'm going to die because of auto yields. Because now I can't... Uh... No blockers? 
Well, I can't animate my uh, my uh, celestial colonnade to. Uh, you need five man. Oh, you'd have to tap a citadel. Mm-hmm. Or a dread sanctuary. Gotcha, gotcha. But I cannot. Interesting. Because uh, of. I think we have to go through a blocker step. So if you turn off auto yields, you'll be able to. Oh, no, you're in blocker step. I'm in blocker step. You would have had to have done it during attacker step. Right, but I had auto Can yields on. Can we control on. Z gotcha. at all? Or no? no I cannot. Blockers. So I can only block the one. Well, it would have put you down to. It's going to kill me. It's 26 double Yeah, strike. it's going to. Well, I'm saying up killing with you. the block, you would have still taken. I would have blocked seven on the front end. You would have been at one. I would have been at one. And if it helps, I could have killed you. You know, if I needed to. Yeah. Um, it... Yeah. You would have been tapped out and he has a flyer. Yeah, exactly. Your colonnade would not have saved you. From, from me having lethal on you. Yes. So, good game, Reed. Good game. Though I think that Charles wins this now. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. He's got two cards in hand, and I'm really banking on that my uh, Asperia can just get in, you know? Yeah. Unfortunately, I do not win this. Okay. Oh, okay. My my card in hand is uh, Parallel Lives in a Land. <laughs> okay. Uh, so then, yeah, let's just uh, make it my turn and head to combat. Uh, just get in with my commander. Absolutely. Go for it. That'll be 22 commander damage. Yep. Good game, gentlemen. Good game. Uh, so <laughs> that combat. Now, I had Aether Sprout. <laughs> Sprouts okay. in hand. So he attacked with everything. I'm like, okay, well, I could just, you know, Aether Spout everything away and then le leave it just down to me and Reed. Mm hmm. Know? I drew... But then he swung the big one at me. Yeah, exactly. So he swung at you for fifty two. I'm like, well, if I, I can mitigate some of this damage, we'll just we'll just end the game that way. Because mm -hmm. I drew so much removal for you, Reed. Afterwards, I drew Swords to Plowshare, Path to Exile, Reality Shift, Condemn, mm -hmm. Teferi, Time Raveler. Like, mm -hmm. I uh, I thought you know, based on what you had left, I could I could slowly grind out the victory. But this works too, you know. Yep. Uh, I got the emblem. Didn't do anything with it. I the mean, message was sent. Yep. Read. <laughs> the the emblem was not currently, but I think if we got into that uh, yeah, that grindy part afterwards, it would have made a big difference. Exactly, exactly. So. Yeah, and I also had a, a the new card flux channeler in hand, so anytime I cast a non creature spell, proliferate. Just keep my planeswalkers mm. around. I was excited. Uh, but, you know, it was a good game overall. We got to see uh, some Ajani's. We got to see some land animating, you know. I feel like... Absolutely. Yeah, it was overall a fun game. So Yeah, I might take another look at this deck and then bring it back, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, thanks, thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, we'll, we'll see you guys next week with, a, with another gameplay video. Bye. Well, that wraps up this episode of Singleton Showdown. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Tell us why, share on social media, and subscribe to the channel. And you can also help us out directly by subscribing to our Patreon, where you'll be able to see new episodes of the Multiverses series before anyone else. Thank you to our current Patreon supporters, and thank you for watching.